So a lot of people have been reaching out to me stating that they're not having the greatest experience while using Fusion, meaning that the computer is lagging a bit while they believe that they have pretty good hardware. Let's dive into a couple of different things that you can do to lessen the workload on your machine so you have a better experience while in Fusion. All right, so there's a couple different things that can really bog down your computer. One of them is being using high resolution media. So this is really high resolution video as well as uh, images. Uh, one of the big things that you can do is you can reduce that by using proxies. It's kind of hidden unless you know exactly where to look for this. So along this bar here, if you right click on it, you can see proxy and auto proxy. They do a little bit different um, things. Proxy will work as a proxy, meaning that it reduces resolution. And then auto proxy is when it's enabled, anytime you move a slider or you're adjusting something, while you're making that adjustment, it's reducing the resolution just for that time while you're doing that. And then it'll render out whatever, if you have proxy still on, it'll render out to whatever proxy resolution is, or it'll render out to the full resolution. So rendering it out to the full resolution is a one-to-one -one pixel. If you are going to go to proxy or auto proxy, you can adjust what that ratio is. So if we go up to fusion and then we go to uh, fusion settings right here in general, down here in proxy, we have a, a slider and you can set this to whatever you want. So one-to-one -one is one-to-one -one pixels and it, you know, and so on. So this slider will go all the way up to 30 to one. The up here update all select and no update means whatever particular tool that you're on or node, it's going to render everything to build to that node. So if there's you know five nodes in front of that, it'll render out all of those. If you have on all, it'll render out all the nodes, even if they're not going to be viewable nodes, because wherever your tool is, obviously that's all you're going to see up to. Um, the reason why there's standard and auto, because like I was saying, you can set your standard, you know, if you want it to be like three to one, and then, you know, when you're moving your slider so that you can see it right away and you're not waiting for a frame to render out with whatever your slider setting is or color change or whatever it may be, you can increase that up higher if you'd like. Okay, so that's how the proxy mode works. So just clicking on in proxy mode, it'll automatically add that in and then select it on a particular node. If you have that proxy mode enabled, then those settings will apply. So the next thing, you have high quality and then you have motion blur. So what this is, is it's just pretty much stating that when it's rendering out, is it using the highest quality of X? And the same thing with motion blur. If you have a motion blur setting on, um, and then uh, when you have this unchecked, what will happen is that particular node, if you do have motion blur on it, it will maintain that motion blur, but while you're still sitting here and working and editing, it won't render out any of that motion blur. When you go to the deliver page and you go to deliver the project and render it out, it will have that motion blur added into it. Um, and that's just one of those other things that does use up a lot of resources when you're rendering out. The, the next thing, and this is for um, if you're working on something where you add in a tool and you increase, you know, let's say blur and you increase the blur um, up a bunch and you notice that your computer is really chugging, what you can do is you can render out those particular nodes or up until that node. So we want it to take all of this and render it out with like, let's say the glows, we could just click on here and then uh, cache to disk and then we just click pre-render and you're going to want to, when it asks you it's lo the location, you're gonna to want to save it to a fast SSD if you have one or a large RAID array that can do a, a high throughput. Okay, so once once it shows down here, you have this little icon that's just stating that that, up, that particular node is cached and it gives you its location of where it's cached. Then when you go to play that particular tool, the whole thing is cached out, so you'll play at whatever your uh, frame rate is, uh, no problem. Because it's already rendered out, it, your computer doesn't need to take any resources to determine what the particular effects are doing to other uh, uh, elements of that particular shot. 
So then it will play back at uh, whatever your playback is. So I have mine set at 24. The additional thing that you can do is having a good amount of RAM um, will definitely always help. One other thing is if you have, let's say your whole frame, you have a bunch of stuff going on, but you're only working on a one particular little area, you can come up here and you can then, um, you can go to set and you can say, okay, this is just the, the section that I wanna work on and it will just render out just that area and it'll only use resources to render out that little area. So then you don't have to worry about using resources to render out all of the other things that are all over the shot. It'll only work on that little area and the pixels that are there. So that's another way to also um, save on resources and, and using them just for specific things. The other thing I could say is when you go to cache to disk, just make sure that it's on a fast SSD or fast hard drive. Um, if you do have a, a fast RAID array, you could even do that. Um, and I think that is pretty much it. Uh, the more RAM you have, the better. It really likes to burn through RAM when it can, so it doesn't have to worry about writing to a slower hard drive. Um, other than that, uh, just make sure that you're up to date on your graphics cards drivers. And uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. And with that being said, let me know in the comments if this works out for you or if it doesn't. And one other thing, just remember that this is currently uh, beta. So hopefully in the near future here, we get a couple more updates and the couple of people that have been having problems uh, with when it comes to performance and they're working on uh, like pretty good equipment. Hopefully those people see uh, performance increases. But uh, yeah, that's uh, just about it. Again, my name's JR and thanks for watching.